Early this morning, the Minnesota House approved legal protections to transgender people who travel to Minnesota to seek gender affirming care. Caroline Cummings explains what the bill does and what's next at the Capitol. Supporters and opponents of what DFLers are calling a trans refuge bill held dueling rallies outside of the House chamber Thursday afternoon ahead of the vote. But it wasn't until before sunrise Friday that it actually passed. This is powerful statement for what it means to love people. Representative Lee Finke, the first openly transgender member elected to the state legislature in a news conference before the debate, called it a crucial step as other states restrict access to gender affirming care. Eight states banning it for children under 18. We have a responsibility to create more space for our community to live their fullest, authentic lives without fear of violence, rejection, abuse, or political attack. It prohibits enforcing out-of-state subpoenas, arrest warrants, and extradition requests from other states for people who sought treatment here, among other provisions designed to protect trans people from out-of-state legal action. Good afternoon. Republicans condemned the effort, raising concerns about long-term impact of some treatments. It allows children, regardless of age, to seek and receive radical medical treatments. Medical groups, including the American Academy of Pediatrics, support youth access to gender affirming care. Over in the Senate, the bill is set to clear its final committee Friday, meeting a key deadline and setting it up for a floor vote in that chamber. Then to your desk where it should be a surprise to no one, um, he, he will sign it. A separate bill cleared a House committee Friday that would expand the state's hate crime law to include bias against a person for their gender identity. 30 years ago, Minnesota was the first state to expressly prohibit discrimination against trans people. At the Capitol, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. There's also a bill to amend the state constitution to ensure equal rights for all people, including on the basis of gender identity and gender expression that would need voters approval on the 2024 ballot.